So today we're going to be talking about the black YouTube beef and all this confronting one another. We're getting sick of it. I know I am and a part of the community is. We have to do something about it. So I'm going to stand up and give my two cents on this situation. Drop down in the comments. Let a brother know how you feel. So let's go. Yo, good morning, YouTube land. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day. I'm back in the game with another video. So let's just jump right into this commentary. This morning, I wanna talk about this beef on YouTube. Every morning when I wake up, all I see is my response to this person, my clap back to this person. And it's a shame that in the black community, we have not evolved and come to a point where we're mature enough to rise above all the BS, create your own content, help others, bring others along to a certain status. Instead of pulling people down and disrespecting people and telling lies about certain individuals, creating fake DMs and all the above. And it's just time out for that. You know, one thing about our race is that we will do anything and everything to bring each other down and we would do it so viciously with ill intent, but we celebrate if you are able to accomplish bringing that particular individual down. And that has to be a chemical imbalance in the brain to do that to your own community. You know, that's the reason why so many black people are voting for Trump. And I know that some of them are just master said anyway but some of them are absolutely tired of the things that they had to endure in the black community you get brought down you get beat slapped and tased verbally and then nobody of the african-american community in some cases because we do have many successful black people but for the most part it's the white community that has to give the nod to sign off on any deal that a black person is able to obtain. Black people can't put you in the position to be successful. So they're thinking in their mind, hey, I'd rather go deal with the potential of being discriminated against, but I may run into a couple of white people that are not racist that can be able to put me in the position to be successful. And it's just sad that it has come to that. And I know that because I've talked to about six or seven people that feel that way about the black community. You know what, YouTube, even when it comes down to our own race being accused of some crimes and when we have someone of our community that is going through a trial that they haven't even been proven guilty for, we are quick to condemn that person we are quick to say yeah they did it they did it but in the white community they use the system they're like innocent to proven guilty and but we're so quick to cast negative aspersions on our own people without giving them the benefit of the doubt and that's not talking about r kelly because he did that but anyway I just find it so hard and they're starting to do some work on the back of my house guys but it's all good um i'm gonna get this message through it just seems like when you get black people like look at michael jordan michael jordan owns the charlotte hornets all these black candidates out here for coaches that he could elect he goes and gets the opposite race now i agree with him if that person no matter what race they are are the best fit for the job you hired that candidate, but I'm telling you, there's somebody that's a brother that could have been put in position to be the head coach for the Charlotte Hornets, but Michael Jordan won't put nobody of color in power or in position. So YouTube, black YouTube, have you ever thought about if they came out with a rule that you can't go after any other YouTubers, then what you gonna do then? What if they came out with a rule saying that you can't say anything negative about another YouTuber and if you do, your channel will be 
demonetized. Then you'll be forced to create your own content then, right? Then you'll be forced. You know, it's so funny that when we look at certain situations um, involving black YouTube, they're so quick to put out their cash app uh, information and their PayPal information, but then have the nerve to hide how many subscribers they have. Just saying. Now me, if I was a person that went to YouTube just to watch videos and didn't want to create my own content, I definitely would be weary of giving money to individuals that have their subscribers uh, not listed. I mean, the whole point of putting yourself out there is being transparent and letting people know who you are, everything about you. What are you, what are you ashamed of how many subscribers you have and that you may be going at somebody that has more subscribers than you? Where's your faith? Where's your courage? Why are you worried about uh, people seeing how many subscribers you have? And I do apologize for all the noise that's uh, coming up in the background. They're actually doing some things to my house. So uh, I decided to record out here. But what I'm saying is, you know, you want to be transparent, but for some reason, people feel the need to hide their subscribers. If there's a benefit to hiding their, to hiding your subscribers, please drop down and let me know. I'm not here to criticize anybody. I'm just asking the question why. So guys, with that said, um, I just felt the need to bring that message to you all. Hope you have a great Tuesday. Don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of when i drop my next video peace